Warren, thanks for coming along today. Um, Pleasure. We've all heard of the British Heart Foundation, but I wonder if you could just tell us a little bit more about the aims of, of the charity and its activities, how you raise money and how those funds are allocated. Yes, I can. It's, it's just very exciting, really, in terms of what we do in mm -hmm. terms of heart disease. Obviously, we, we aim to cure heart failure and to cure a heart and circulatory disease in a number of ways. Firstly, our exciting heart research, many, much of which happens locally and across the Midlands, and also in areas of heart health resources, which we have. We have lots of different lifestyle leaflets and things that we provide, medical booklets, mm -hmm. and we're also involved with defibrillators and other things. So it's very exciting what we're able to, to try and do going forward. Yeah. Do you get referrals from GPs, from people who've had, you know, heart problems? Do, do, are you ref do people get referred to you as a charity to say, look, we can help you with your lifestyle or counselling or support? or? Um, well, we do support, uh, we're affiliated to a heart support groups. So typically right. people uh, that have recovered from heart operations get involved in heart support groups mm -hmm. and they speak to different people who've gone through similar situations. So that's very beneficial for them. Mm. And then, of course, free of charge of all of our, our heart health booklets and resources mm. available through, through GPs, through the local hospitals yeah. um, for accessibility both for, for them and the families. So we're very excited to be supporting the British Heart Foundation this year and, and raising money for the charity and also to raise money to provide defibrillators in our livestock markets. Can you tell me how important is that on a local basis to have that resource available? It's very important because those first few minutes are absolutely vital in saving someone's life. So uh, to have defibrillators on site available for use is absolutely vital uh, and is so critical in this regard. So that's why it's really important for defibrillators to be sighted in public places where there's people and they can be used as necessary. So Warren, the direct donations that we make to the charity, how, how will they be used? Well, thank you so much for, for what you're going to be doing during the year. We really appreciate it very much across the five counties. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be used in a variety of different ways, but predominantly on heart research, which is really important to us. And we have a heart research grant in Shropshire, which we're currently funding, right. which is a three-year grant, which we'd like to potentially be able to continue. So in that way that you're helping directly and yeah. also in terms of our heart health resources. Uh, which are free of charge to people that need them. So very, very, both very, very vital services for the local community. Okay. And the research, when you say you do research, where is that actually carried out? Who's doing that? Okay, there's, a uh, there's uh, two, two professors that are carrying that out at the orthopaedic hospital in Oswald Street. And, uh, at Gabowen? The, yeah, Gabowen, yeah, yes, yeah. absolutely. And um, we provided £233,000 over a three year period for them to conduct their uh, studies into cardiac conduction and heart disease. Gosh. So um, very much so heart research is happening in the local area yes. as well as in the bigger cities. Yeah, fascinating, thank you. Warren, we've really enjoyed doing the Heart Start course, the British Heart Foundation course. We've got Helen at our night in office who's a first responder and her husband. Um, and um, they came in and did the training for us and it Good. was fun. Um, we've learnt about CPR and how to use the defibrillators. How important do you think it is that, that you know, the team have gone through that? It's great for the individuals to have that knowledge and that education and it gives them peace of mind, yeah. which is really important uh, to have that confidence. Yeah. So it's great for them individually to know that. So it's mm. really very important. Yes. Yeah. And I think you know, we've done it for the markets because the defibrillators are there, but of also, course. you know, you can go home and or use it in any situation. Just so. that wide knowledge and skill, which is yeah. so advantageous, Fine. definitely. And as you said earlier, minutes, seconds save lives. So absolutely critical. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, it'll exactly. make a difference. Certainly hope so. Definitely. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we're delighted to be supporting the British Heart Foundation this year, and you can look out for the British Heart Foundation. Heart Matters magazine, which is available in all of our local offices with useful tips on healthy living and some really nice recipes.